limited resource availability for your projects, you may wish to use leveling techniques to determine what impact these limitations will have on your project portfolio. Primavera P6 provides functionality for leveling resources based upon project and activity priorities. Resource leveling will move activities to reduce overloads. You can define priorities at the project and activity level to ensure higher priority projects get first dibs on a particular resource. This video shows how to prepare and execute resource leveling across multiple projects. Preparation To perform resource leveling, you will need to prepare the following items. 1. Assign project leveling priority values to each project. 2. Assign activity leveling priority values to activities within each project. 3. Create what-if copies of the projects to be leveled. And 4. Configure the resource leveling function. In this example, we will look at two projects. A. A database rollout and B. Financial systems rollout. The two projects are similar in scope and are due to start on May 1st. The problem is both projects are bidding for the same scarce resources at the same time. By running what-if scenarios based upon the priority of the project and the activities within that project, we can learn the earliest dates on which these projects can finish. Firstly, in the EPS page, use the Columns dialog to add Project Leveling Priority to the EPS table. Next, set the priority for the projects. In this case, Project A is set to 1, being top priority. Project B is set to 10, making it lower priority. The values you can use in this field range from 1 to 100. Next, we'll open the two projects and look at the Gantt charts for each one. The projects have similar scope and a lot of overlapping periods where scarce resources are required. The projects have been baselined in order to track changes. You can use the Columns button in this page to add the Activity Leveling Priority field. You can then adjust the priority of activities from lowest priority to top priority. We'll now go to the EPS page and create a copy of these projects, including their baselines, ready for what-if resource leveling. The copies have been placed in a what-if EPS node and their project status value set to what-if. In the resource analysis page, we can see that our resources are overloaded across project A and B. In this view, a dot on the resource icon tells us that the resource is overloaded on one or more projects. Our database administrator and network administrator are in high demand for these projects. This will impact the duration of the projects unless additional skills can be hired in. Our next step is to run the resource leveler and see what our worst case scenario looks like. With both the what if A and B projects open, clicking on the leveler button will open the level resources dialog. In this example, we will go with the default options in the options tab. The resources tab allows us to level by all resources or by selected resources only. In this case, we'll go with the default all resources option. Back in the options tab, we will add leveling priorities at the bottom of the dialog. In the first position, the project leveling priorities field has been selected. In the second position, the activity leveling priorities field has been selected and both have a sort order of ascending. When the level button is clicked, P6 will attempt to level out the resource overloads by moving activities around based on the project and activity level priority assigned. Due to the resource demand, both within the projects themselves 
and from other projects, it is clear that these two projects cannot run in parallel as was first scheduled. Project A will now finish in early August rather than in early July. And Project B will now finish in mid-October rather than in mid-June. This sample scenario demonstrates the power of P6 to quantify the impact of limited resource with mathematical certainties based on logic. In this situation, you would have to consider hiring in additional expertise to run this work in parallel as planned. For example, 106 Consulting Professional Services Group could help in a situation such as this. Also be aware that you can schedule projects with the option to take into account resource leveling. This is selected in the Schedule Options dialog by checking the Level Resource During Scheduling option. This will retain the activity start dates whenever the project is rescheduled. This video was produced by 106 Consulting LLC for your education and awareness of 106 Consulting's professional consulting and training services. Go to 106consulting.com for more details.